countries have a knack for fighting over small barren islands in the middle of nowhere. It's like their favorite kind of border dispute. Rocks and sandbars can start wars, but for Canada and Greenland, they've been duking it out with booze. The border between Canada and Greenland, which is part of Denmark, is a long stretch of icy water. In 1973, the two countries agreed to exactly 127 points that were smack in the middle from each coast. Then they drew lines connecting those points, and voila, border. But they left out one line, between point 122 and 123. Why? Because there's a small rocky island there called Hans Island, and while everyone was fine drawing lines in the water, no one wanted to get into it about a rock. But no biggie. Nothing much going on at that island, and Canada and Denmark politely cooperated on any issues in the area. Until, and this is where different sides tell somewhat different stories, a man from Greenland runs into a man from Canada wearing a Hans Island hat. He finds out that the Canadian was doing research on the island for a Canadian oil company, which the Danish knew nothing about and the Canadians denied knowing also. And there goes polite cooperation. It's unclear who struck first, but the Danish minister for Greenland went to the rock, planted a Danish flag, and left a bottle of Danish schnapps. The Canadians reciprocated by planting their own flag and leaving a bottle of Canadian club. Apparently, it is now tradition to leave a bottle of a national beverage when anyone from each country visits. From time to time, the issue flares up, and Canada and Denmark have been in talks to settle it. They've discussed splitting it down the middle and also jointly sharing it. I'm sure it's crossed both nations' minds that with the icy waters thawing, that rock in the middle of nowhere may someday hold more than just booze.